What we're going to talk about today is reformatting an SD card if you've used it in a Linux machine uh, such as a Raspberry Pi or something like that and you want to reclaim your SD card back um, for use in a camera or in a Windows machine. The first thing that you need to do is uh, run a command prompt. You, it's either pinned to your taskbar or you can type CMD and press return. What you then need to do is run an application which is built into Windows 7 called Disk Part. You then press return. It asks you whether or not this is allowed to continue. This is because user account control is turned on on my laptop. Click yes and what will happen is it will fire up the disk part application. What you can do at this point is you can do list disk to show all of the disks that your laptop knows about. At this point uh, we've only got one disk which is my main hard drive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my SD card and I'm going to continue without scanning. At this point if we do list disk again we should see our second disk. Uh, that's always a good test because uh, you obviously don't want to damage your main hard drive um, so I always do that little test just to make sure that um, I'm looking at the right disk. What you then need to do is you then need to select the disk and in our case it's one. Okay, and um, if we do a uh, list disk again, you can see an asterisk here, which is basically letting us know which disk we're currently looking at. What you can now do is you can then type in the word clean. Okay, and what that's going to do is that's basically going to scrub anything that's on that disk. Now at that point the disk is there, um, it's clean but it's not usable because it doesn't actually have a file system on there. So what we now need to do is we now need to say create partition primary. Now let's come back saying that that's been successful. Now we need to format it um, and I'm going to format this as um, a FAT32 file system. And that should take not very long at all. Um, and that's how you do it basically. Uh, once you've done that you can then exit out of that utility. We can then go down to Windows Explorer and we can see that we've got the disk there. Hope that was helpful. Okay.